It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, August 9th. I'm James Spann. More showers and storms around the countryside today, even some flooding issues up in northwest Alabama. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. A nice field of cumulus clouds. That's seen from Cheha State Park in east Alabama. Very similar sky up the road at Gadsden. And on the Alabama Gulf Coast, sun is shining there. Weather looks fine for the next few days, about six to eight hours of sunshine. And, of course, you know there's always the uh, chance of a passing shower or storm. And, boy, the water is awfully warm. We note that the uh, seawater temperature is hitting 90. At the Dauphin Island Sea Lab, we had one report of 91 degrees in the water at Fort Morgan this morning. So a lot of latent heat energy down there. Uh, in fact, let me just show you this. Uh, this is a look at sea surface temperatures. And you can see they are really warm near the uh, Gulf Coast, uh, the coast of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. So uh, if by chance some kind of tropical system gets up in there, that's a lot of heat energy all stored up. While we're looking at the tropics, uh, things are quiet now. No tropical storm formation expected this weekend. There's the big picture. Moist air, scattered showers and storms. Upper lows uh, north of San Francisco and south of Hudson Bay. Here's a look at our uh, showers at uh, 2.50 this afternoon. Bigger storms up in uh, Winston County at that point. Haleyville had over a half inch of rain in about 15 minutes. I mean, these are real tropical downpours. We've got flooding issues at Tupelo, Mississippi. Flash flood warning in effect for Lee County, Mississippi there. And scattered storms from roughly uh, Anniston and Jacksonville down to Clanton and Selma. And they're not moving much. Steering currents are very light. Temperatures below average, only 73 at Haleyville with heavy rain falling. Most other spots between 88 and 91. And we'll expect highs like that over the weekend. Heat advisories west of the state for the Mid-South and a few pockets with flash flood watches around the nation. Severe weather potential for the rest of today and tonight. A slight risk from near Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, almost up to New York City. And tomorrow, just a few 5% zones, no uh, formal risks. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Wednesday evening of next week. Bigger numbers over the northern half of the state. Rain amounts there about two inches. Amounts lighter down to the south. We'll check the modeling. This is the GFS, the uh, 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Higher heights east and west of here, a general weakness, and that really means more of the same. We'll have scattered showers and storms about, although... The models have trended a little drier tomorrow. This is the high-res NAM at 1 o'clock, and it shows showers and storms around. Uh, but it looks like the heights might be a little higher, the air aloft a little warmer. But these changes are very subtle and hard to identify. Pretty much the same deal Sunday, the uh, high-res NAM not showing much, but uh, given the history of the weather over the past five days, we'll go with scattered showers and storms both days. And, of course, the sun will be out at times. And, Again, highs between 88 and 91. Next week, there's Monday. We're pretty moist. There's Tuesday. Some sun, a few showers and storms. Wednesday, same deal. Nice dry air, though, up north. Look at that nice, cool air mass over the Great Lakes. Can it make it down here? Let's look at Thursday. It tries. It's trying to nose into northwest Alabama. And here's Friday, and really uh, the, the models are trending toward a high-amplitude solution, a big western ridge and an eastern trough, and exactly how that forms, we won't know yet. This is the European look, and again, it's got the same thing, but western ridge, eastern trough. The uh, GFS brings the dry air down to about Interstate 59, and we all know it's hard to get dry air in here in mid-August, but uh, it might. It's been that kind of a summer. We'll see. Go out there a few more days, the 18th. Ew, a little tropical system in the western Gulf, just south of Brownsville, Texas. The uh, GFS has shown that for the past operational runs, and you know, we all know the water's warm down there. Into the forecast, 25th of April, of August, uh, not April, this is August. 588 heat ridge off to the west, but really ridging covers much of the southern states, and again, that looks pretty typical for uh, late August, partly sunny with a few scattered showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by Monday morning at 7, my next video, Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 Central Time. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.